right, so today we return to pet catchers because in my last video, I told you guys really quickly about a potential bug glitch. Um, I don't really know what you want to call this. You can let me know in the comments what you think yourself. But as soon as I mentioned that in the video, so many of you were commenting, reaching out, as well as joined my Discord, and we're trying to figure out how this entire glitch works. Well, unfortunately, someone has opened their mouth and it has now traveled through. Well, actually, right now it hasn't really traveled too far, but I'm definitely certain that by the end of the day, a lot of you guys are going to know, especially after this video. And if I'm going to be honest, this is more than likely going to get fixed now. So make sure you jump in do this as quick as you can because this one's gonna be a game changer man it really is either way if you guys take a look over here i am currently sitting at 9.4 billion keep in mind it has been a solid 19 maybe 20 hours since i actually play so i basically made this 9.4 billion with by far probably the worst token team because yes i have still not been able to get a dog cat or any of the secrets not even a little pathetic top hat so currently i'm working with about a multiplier of 25,000 in tokens i got three synth waves as well as four arcade aliens all of which are shiny and have token five on them so if you're watching this video and you happen to have secrets this is going to be huge for you but there is a couple of things that I want to mention beforehand that you guys will need in order to really make this super effective. Now, if you haven't caught on already, based off of the thumbnail and title, today's little method involves the not so favorited hypercore boss. One of the reasons that this boss is not that loved is because obviously you have to partake in an entire obby throughout the entire fight in order to go ahead and defeat him but what i'm about to show you guys is going to go ahead and completely eliminate that so if you've been stacking up on a bunch of respawn tomes like how i have i'm currently sitting at 328 if that just so happens to be you then let's go ahead and follow along with me for starters let me go ahead and turn on my pets so you guys can kind of get a general idea here i'm going to switch over to my fighting team which really not a single one of my pets here has tokens and the normal way that you would do this is obviously just jump into the boss fight go ahead and respawn it for the sake of the video i'm gonna go ahead and drop this all the way down to level one just so we can show you really quickly so again when you start this up it's very straightforward i'm sure it's no surprise to any of you you go ahead start it up you do your obby and then that's pretty much it i really don't want to kill the boss right now so i don't have to use another tome so i'm just gonna go ahead and die there i just really wanted to show you guys that the obby was indeed moving now to get this working it is very simple and I know some of you are going to be like, why didn't I think of that? But basically, you go ahead, walk into the boss with your team. Then as soon as you hit start, the very first thing that you want to do is quite literally reset your character. So let's go ahead, hit start, reset instantly. You'll notice that your character falls from the sky and now the boss health is still on the top. At this point, you can't really see your entire UI. So you're just going to go ahead, reset again. The boss health will stay on top and you will have everything back, all of your UI. So now all you have to do is just go ahead, walk back to the boss fight, start it up at level one or level 25. If it is, it maybe you're going after a pet and just jump in the far left side where I'm jumping right here. At this point, the obby will no longer move for the rest of the game. And that's it. You're basically done. You just rinse and repeat this. You're going to finish the boss in about five to 10 seconds. And with that, you will go ahead and get your reward. Now, if you notice, I only made 1.5K. This is where things start to get a little bit crazy because I know there's a lot of you out there that think the boss is really bad because obviously they're not going to give you any tokens with a lot of the teams that you guys have. Many of you are in the same position as me where your best team is really the Universe Sentinel, maybe a couple Soul Hearts, Fallen Angels, and so forth. So obviously you guys don't have any token multiplier and this wouldn't be very useful for you. For those of you that are suffering through that and are in the same position as me, it is very, very simple. Go ahead and jump back into the boss fight, which I would like to point out the first steps that I showed you guys, you only need to do that one time. Once you go ahead and do that, it will pretty much stick with you the entire game until you rejoin or potentially get disconnected and reconnect. So again, we're going to go ahead and jump back in here with our fighting team. I'm going to start it up. Don't have to do the reset again because we've already initiated that. So the obby is not going to move. Wait until the boss dies. As soon as the boss goes down, what we're going to do is we're going to reset again, and then we're going to switch to our token team. We're just going to stand right here for a second, and the boss fight is going to end. Then if you take a look right over here, it's going to teleport you back, and we got 24.5 mil. All of that, which took, give or take, about 10 seconds to do. So in my case, 
I'm pretty much making 34 mil every single 10 seconds because I have so many tomes. Keep in mind, I am doing this at level one. So that means that I will not be getting that many respawn tomes back. So eventually I obviously will run out. But for those of you that have really good teams, you can go ahead and bump this up to 25 and still use this same exact method. It's obviously going to take a little bit longer. You won't be completing it every 10 seconds. If anything, at least in my case with the team that I have, it takes me roughly about 55 seconds to complete level 25. So let's go ahead and jump in here. I'm going to show you guys. We basically have the same thing going on here. We're just going to jump on the far left side and you're going to understand in a second why I jump on the far left side obviously if you're doing this on level one then you can pretty much jump anywhere the reason why i tell you to jump is because if you stop jumping the platform under you is still technically moving as the fight takes longer the platform goes faster so if you're jumping you can avoid the movement but if you notice here at the halfway mark, the floor is going to start blinking and the direction of the obby is going to change. A platform will spawn on my right hand side. I can jump up here and I no longer have to jump. We just basically sit here, wait until the boss is completely dead and we should be good. Again, do not forget that you need to reset. So let's go ahead, wait till the boss is dead, reset, put on our token team, wait a couple of minutes and you will get all of your rewards so there we go we went ahead and got 24 mil as well as ourselves another respawn tome so yeah man this was kind of a secret um it's something that a lot of people have been doing since pretty much the release of the update it was kind of like a hidden thing amongst a lot of like the really really good players but unfortunately this was leaked so if you're in my discord you probably read the entire conversation that was going on there was a good amount of you guys there again this is kind of like a 50 50 situation it might get fixed it might not get fixed if you guys know king slime has its own bug where you can get inside of a rock and it teleports above you kraken also has its own bug where you can kind of stand off to the side and sort of just fully depend on lifesteal so for there to be another bug with the new boss it's really not a big surprise and none of the other ones have been fixed so there is still that chance that this might just be something that they accept i know personally in my case i really haven't been able to use this as much personally i wasn't playing all day yesterday saturday i did it for a little bit but I've been mainly focusing on trying to get a team, which obviously is not working in my favor. But even with the little bit that I've gone ahead and actually used this, I've gone ahead and been able to get 9.5 billion. Earlier today when I got on, I was at 10 billion, but I did use a little bit of money. We're not going to talk about that. Highest so far that I've seen is somebody with 200 and something billion, which is kind of insane. Only thing I ask for is when you guys get the trophy, remember your boy keep me in contact reach out on discord let me know in the comments i don't know just just get your hands on the boy somehow so that, that way we can showcase that trophy either way man let's go ahead and end off the video here with a little bit of plinko in the background hopefully you guys enjoyed this and it helps you out if you did enjoy it make sure to drop a like on this video subscribe to the channel for more pet catcher stuff either way that's gonna go ahead and do it for this video i just got a prismatic paintbrush what in the world hopefully you guys enjoyed it two cherries wait hold on what's going on am i popping off here all right we, we didn't really get any more crazy stuff stuff i don't think we're gonna get another cherry are we all right well i'd say that was a very successful plinko game let's take a look here two cherries one prismatic paintbrush 55 mil that's a w man also i know i already ended this but just to kind of squeeze it in here this is currently what my talent tree is looking like i went ahead and completed all the way to ultra prismatic we're currently working over here to get the extra pet equipped more videos coming this week man turn on those notifications so you do not miss them that's gonna do it for this one like always i'll see you guys in the next video take care